Aloha. Yes, I've been lazy. I didn't leave the house at all yesterday. I'm back out now, back out fresh, about to just go on my random walks again. I'm going to what they call Young and Dundas. I think that's basically their answer to Oxford Circus. It's just like a half an hour walk. You could obviously get the, what do they keep calling this thing? Um, streetcar, sorry, I keep thinking of tram. So let's go see what today has to offer. Okay, so I made it to what they call Young and Nanda Square, which is basically their Times Square. You can see there's loads of big signs, advertising, all of that jazz. I mean, I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to be doing here. But um, yeah, I'm meeting a, a producer that's gonna show me around, show me to the studio where he works and stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna act like a full-blown tourist and just take pictures and stuff. I've linked up with Mr. Daniel Goldstripes. Let's go, let's go. He tells me that basically in the winter this becomes an ice skating rink. Dope ice skating. Like imagine how cool that would be ice skating like here. Have you never been ice skating? No, I've been ice skating, oh, but like not like <laughs> at the Toronto side. Yeah, have just, to come back. Now. Yeah, no, oh no, for sure. That's the whole point of this. I don't know, I might be here for long term, so checking Whoa. it all out and it seems all good. Yeah. This is the move, guys. Yeah. Move. I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. Although like I'm interested in it. Yeah. Oh, at London. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of people have been saying that. Man, listen, yeah. I listen to the accent. You sound distinguished. You sound smart. If I was yeah. this accent here, people would take me seriously. More seriously than I <laughs> Everyone always talks about the accent. I don't I, know. It's, it's just dope. I'm crazy. telling you, it's dope. It's crazy. <laughs> Kendrick gig because um, I was chilling with Daniel for a bit long so I had to jump in an Uber rush a subway because I needed to eat but I'm actually here <laughs> So it's about 8 o'clock, it said it started at 7.30. There's YG and Dram opening for him, so hopefully I get to catch one of them. Um, the queue's kind of mad. Yeah, bitch. 
Let's try one of my favorite words. Look. Give me a run for my money. There was nobody, no one around. So Kendrick was like one of the craziest concerts I've been to, and it was just so well put together, honestly. Phenomenal. So now I'm off to get some kip because tomorrow I've got to be up early. I decided to not go out and party. Um, because it's like half an hour away, half an hour there, half an hour back, and there's not a lot of time. Oh yes, and funny story. I met a girl who was working for the company that was promoting the meet and greet with Kendrick. And then we got talking later on, um, her friends that were working with her as well left. So she was like, oh, let's try and join the meet and greet for Kendrick. And we got far, we did get far. We got to the point of being with the people of the meet and greet and then security, he just wasn't having a bar <laughs> and just took our wristbands and cut it off. But that would have been the icing on the cake. It is what it is. <laughs> Good night now. Good morning. So I am on my way to meet a friend of my dad's um, for coffee. I don't drink coffee, but yeah, I've got quite a busy day. <laughs> Okay, so that was a nice interesting morning meeting and um, it's interesting to know how everyone in Toronto is kind of like connected to music or somehow have a friend that does this and, and it's like um, everyone's got a story back to Drake I can tell you that Drake's auntie's sister used to do this for me and they love Drake here man Chinese population here and look they're still playing Drake <laughs> so I'm currently in Kensington Market which I've been told about a lot so when I was walking to the supermarket I thought you know what Kensington Market is like two minutes away let me go check it out it's not as busy as I thought it's not as market as I thought but maybe just the wrong day but yeah as you can hear I found a lot of uh, Caribbean shops it's one african shop but um yeah man i guess this is where i'll be basically getting my food and stuff if i was to you know <laughs> come back long term but yeah man at least it's good to know that it's here it's good to know that it exists longing for my baby to love me more what am i longing for if i not really secure what am i longing for So I'm here with Jamie and Chloe and we are on our way to the Burger Backyard Burger Bro. Yeah. What is it exactly? So two chefs competing. In a celebrity cook-off. There you go. DJ's playing in the background. And, and it's at the Addison's residence, which is like a place that looks like somebody's home. Oh, serious? It's actually a club. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. So this should be exciting. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's go and see how that is. But today he's 
he's going to make his name from Addison's Barbecue, Joey McNabb. We only have 30 minute rounds. We want to get this out as quick as possible. 30 minutes you guys are going to have, okay? This thing is just crazy. It smells good. I don't know what's actually happening. Ace Yeah, free Ace. There you go. There you go. Another sponsor. <laughs> it just doesn't... I don't know. This is just unheard of. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm not sure who the chef's names are yeah. or who's the judges for the Anything. burgers, but yeah. we're about to find out. Yeah. Hands right in the flames. <laughs> Six! Oh, Where's my lawyer at? Is there a doctor? Is there a doctor? Is there a doctor? Hey, dude, dude, just eat the fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, that's hot, bro. That's fucking hot, man. Oh my god. Take another bite. Oh, that's hot. One more bite. One more bite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, buddy, that was fucking hot. Let me tell you. The winner of a three-two decision decided by Chef Sam last night's opinion coach. It goes to the underdog. Yeah! So yeah, I here. It's the Aaron Bills. Make sure you go hit him up on YouTube. You know Subscribe to all. Bills, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy George Shea from the UK. There you go. Thank you so much to Ron. Show us some love, man. There you go. There you go. Having a little bit of jank, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. More Enjoy. Life, more Enjoy. Enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy. I'm fucking Ron of the UK, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. We got Jay Herb in the cut, man. Hey, 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 Peng Ting's on me, bro. Yo, we got Peng Ting's out. <laughs> That's the only Ting, bro. Come on, bro. Peng Ting. Peng Kush. <laughs> So I'm on my way to meet Daniel again. Um, we are about to go to a studio of his friends and meet a few more people that are producer orientated and apparently work in the night scene and DJs and all of this kind of jazz. Yeah, the studio was real good fun. Uh, nice to connect with people who are actually knowledgeable about a lot of the UK music and a lot of the UK music platforms and stuff. Um, then I went to an old school versus new school night with Sean Caff, who I connected with last week. And now, yeah, I'm strolling home. Tomorrow, um, plans have changed. It's meant to be a barbecue, but now I might actually finally get to go to the CNE. I've been putting it off all week. So, good night.
currently in a park, I don't know where yet, um, working with the Jeffrey Foundation to give shoes and sandwiches back to the homeless of Toronto. They basically just gather all the shoes from donations and then just come and uh, display them and all of the homeless know about it and get one shoe per person and one sandwich per person. Simple yet effective. <laughs> So this is Jeffrey of Jeffrey Foundation. Yeah, guys. You know, we're just out here giving our shoes for the day. You know, we also empower youth, and uh, most importantly, today is about homeless people. You know, we're just giving back you know, some sandwich and uh, some, some nice shoes. You know? Man, it's yeah. a good thing. It feels it's a good feeling, man. Course, Honestly, yeah, I love course, this. Of course, I love right, this. Yeah. Cheers. One love. One love. Honestly, this shit is crazy. There's just so much food everywhere. There's just so much going on. I don't even know exactly what to even call this. It's like a fun fair mixed with like a food exhibition, mixed with like, I don't know, just exhibitions of all different types of stuff. I don't think I can even get around it as well because it's huge. Ultimate underdog. It's Mayweather versus McGregor on the marquee. The money belt goes to Money Mayweather. So what a fight, eh? I really wanted McGregor to win, but I knew Mayweather was always going to win. But yeah, I'm not really a boxing or a UFC fan, so whatever the weather. I am just knackered and have to get up really early in the morning to catch my flight. Which is good that my um, the airport is like right across the water from here, but I'm still tired and looking forward to New York tomorrow. Oh yeah guys, this is really sad because I just realized that because um, my friend who I'm staying with is moving houses while I'm in New York, this is gonna be the last time I have this view from my bedroom. Sad times, but anyway, good night.